have you always lived here in Liberty County? Uh, no, ma'am. I have not. So, um, tell me then, how did you end up here in Liberty County? Um, my, I was born in California, <clears throat> and my father, he was in the Navy, and we got stationed in Taiwan. So I was there for two years, and my mother's sister and her husband were both in the Army stationed here at Fort Stewart, and we came here, and I've been here since 1972. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, ma'am. Being a military community, I know a lot of times people get to Liberty County because family members are stationed here at Fort Stewart, but then a lot of times they stay just yes, because they like the community so yes, much. Yes, ma'am. So that's an okay. awesome story. I've been here for seven years um, and did not have connections to the military, but certainly know that's an important part of our community. So, um, you know, right now I live out in Midway um, in a single home structure, single story, um, three bedroom, two bath kind of house. Um, can you tell me more, a little bit more about your house and um, the characteristics? Yes, ma'am. I live in a, a four bedroom double wide trailer with um, a shade tree. <laughs> <laughs> Shade trees are important, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> that one, especially in the summertime. I was going to say, definitely in South Georgia. Oh, so yes, definitely. Wonderful, wonderful. Yes, so, um, at your house, do you have rooftop solar for your home? No, ma'am, we do not. And um, tell me why you don't have that rooftop solar. Did you make that decision? Was it made for you? Can you provide some insight there? Um, sure. Uh, my husband and I, we never really discussed it. Uh, we've seen them before in other locations, but... Uh, think it of cost when you may not be able to afford it maybe in the long run it would pay for itself but we just never really put it to pot to that get them definitely is understandable so um if you had the option would you put solar on your home why or why not um yeah it would, it would be a it would definitely be a, an option to uh look into uh, i wouldn't mind doing it if, there again just thinking of the cost of you know to have it installed right yes ma'am Definitely that can be a factor yes, with your decision making there. So, on Our next part about uh, this interview is going to talk a little bit more about rooftop solar adoption in general. Mm -hmm. So um, what I've provided right there, that's a map of the United States. Yes, ma'am. And then um, my first question for you is where do you think people have the most solar energy on their home? So if you could draw that on the map, that would be great. Sure. Um, more than one or? Whatever you think. So if um, okay. you have multiple communities, you want to identify that sign. Oh, okay. okay. All right. So um, it looks like you identify communities other than here in the state of Georgia. That's so right. what do you think makes these places different than where we are? I think that they are um, maybe a little bit more advanced when it comes to the solar energy. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. How so? Uh, their technology is a lot more than what we have here in, in Georgia. Mm -hmm. um, when you think of Texas, you always think of a rich state, oil state, but um, they also have a lot of sun, too. And California, well, it's just California always seems to be more advanced than, than other locations. Right. Yes, right. Absolutely. So um, I appreciate you sharing those thoughts on the national level. So um, yes, this next map right here is of the state of Georgia. And you'll see all of our different communities there identified. Yes, ma'am. And so, um, in what community here in Georgia do you think people have the most rooftop solar on their homes? Okay. All right, so it looks like you circle um, the Atlanta area. And yes, um, with that, what do you think, again, since this is not Liberty County, obviously, what do you think about the people from that particular area? Um, what makes them different from people here? Again, I think that the people in the Atlanta area are more advanced than the southeast mm -hmm. uh, area of Georgia itself. It just Atlanta's definitely a, a a busy place, right? And it seems like with you know so many, many people that is there, they would you know do what they can for different ways for energy, and I would just think it would be in Atlanta. Yes, ma'am. Um, and then our last question for you is just, um, what about most of your close friends here in the state of Georgia, in Liberty County, that kind of thing? Um, do they have solar on their roof, and why do you think they do or don't? Um, there's, I don't have any friends, no anyone that has the, the solar on their roof. Um, I think if they was uh, maybe, you know, was a little bit more familiar with it, and, you know, of course, uh, 
being able to afford it is another factor as well. If right. they could do that, then they would probably, they would look into it, I think. So, you know, that lack of familiarity and then the price. Right. Could be the hindrances. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am.